we have seen how to use this all constraints normal check unique primary key and foreign key in oracle now we can create company database schema we have already seen this tdl and dml commands and just now we have seen how to use all these constraints in oracle let us design company database schema we are here we have seen requirements analysis then conceptual design we have designed this by using er model and then we design logical design also by converting this er diagrams into relational model tables we will see the schema refinement later let's see this physical design with oracle in this physical design we will use this tables which are designed in this logical design this is the logical database schema of company with referential integrity constraints we already know how to create the tables we have seen that while we discussed tdl commands while creating some foreign keys that may cause errors because they are specified either via circular references or they refer to table that has not yet been created suppose see here if we take this employee table this is the primary key and this t number is the foreign key which comes from the primary key of department table if you want to add this foreign key within the employee table you need to create this department table prior to this employee table if this primary key exists then only you can add this foreign key suppose if you want to create this department table first here we have foreign key mjr ssn which is coming from the employee table ssn if you create the department table first then you can add this manager ssn because this employee table is not created yet this is the circular reference the foreign key department number in employee table refers to the department table which has not been created yet to deal with this kind of problems these constraints can be left out in the initial creation of the table and then added later using alter table state these two tables employee and department they have circular references so we can create any of these tables if you create department table then you need to omit this foreign key constraint while creation of the table you can add that later or you can create this employee table without adding this d number foreign key so let us create this department table first here this department table contains four attributes d name d number manager ssn manager start date this d number is the primary key which is underlined here and this d name is also unique which is key attribute in the er design but in relational model only we can have one primary key so we selected this d number as primary key and this manager ssn is the foreign key which is coming from the table employee let us create this department table with this four attributes create table department here we have four attributes so d name which is of var cat of size 15 in your design we have seen that this is the key attribute but here we didn't choose it as a primary key so anyway it is not null and d number which is of type integer which is also not null mjr ssn of type character which is also not null manager start date type date this is the primary key so we need to add primary key constraint primary key of this t number table level constraint this t name is also key attribute means this is eligible for primary key so it will be containing unique value so we are adding this unique constraint suppose if we have a restriction that this department number is between 1 to 10 we can add check constraint like this check d number greater than or equal to 1 and d number less than or equal to 10 actually which is not specified in the requirements we are adding it for to know how to use this check constraint and here we did not add this manager ssn foreign key constraint in the creation of this department table because which is referencing the table employee which is not yet created we will add this later let's create the department table in oracle user and schema both are same so let us create new user here i am creating user dbms lab with password secret user created we need to give system privileges to this user in order to connect and to create database objects within that user so let us give system privileges this can be done by using these two commands grant connect to dbms lab which will give the session privileges by using this command this user will get the session privileges with this 
this user is with this this user is able to create database objects and now let us log in as bbms lab user here first one is the username and the second one is password now we connected as a dbms lab user within this user let us create our company schema first create the department table create table department d name varka 2 of 15 not null d number int not null manager session type character not null manager start date date type primary key here d number and d name is unique and here we added unique constraint for d name attribute and check constraint table create we will add this manager session foreign key constraint after creation of the employee table Next, employee table. It has first name, middle name, last name, SSN, birth date attribute, gender, salary, super SSN, DNAME as attributes. Create table employee. Here, this first name and last name should not be null, so not null constraint added. SSN is the primary key, so this is also not null. These two, super SSN and D number are foreign keys. Define all these columns, add this primary key constraint and these two foreign key constraints. Here we need to add this primary key. So primary key of SSN, this super SSN is foreign key which is referring SSN within the same table. So foreign key of super SSN references same employee table column SSN. Add this D number, foreign key D number references department of D number. Let's create this table. Table created. Next one, department locations table. This table has these two columns, D number and D location. D number is of type integer and which is not null and D location of character type which is also not null. Here, this two combination is the primary key composite primary key we can define composite primary key like this primary key of d number comma d location and this d number is foreign key which is from department table d number so let's create this table let's create the department locations table table created here this d number and d location both are primary key which is the composite primary key and foreign key is the D number from the department primary key D number. Next project table. This project table has this four columns P name, P number, P location and D number. This P number is the primary key here. This is also P attribute. This P name should be unique and this T number which is the foreign key. P name where cut to which is not null p number integer and also not null p location where cat to dnum of type integer and which is also not null primary key here is p number and we added unique constraint for this p name and this t number is the foreign key which is coming from the department table let's create this project table table created Let's create this box on table which has three columns ESSN, P number and relationship attribute hours, ESSN of type character not null, P number of type integer which is also not null, hours decimal of 3 comma 1 not null. Here primary key is composite primary key ESSN and P number. So add this primary key constraint ESSN and P number foreign key ESSN references employee SSN foreign key P number references project P number let's create the table see here we can use decimal or number here I am using number table created and last table dependent this dependent table has this five columns ESSN dependent name gender birth date and relationship ESSN character type which is not null dependent name worker type not null, gender, character, birth date, date type, relationship with the employee, character type. Here we have composite primary key, combination of ESSN and dependent name. So primary key ESSN comma dependent name and this ESSN is the foreign key 
which is coming from the employee table so foreign key ESSN references employee of SSN the dependent table also created while creating department table we did not add this manager SSN foreign key constraint because at that time employee table was not created so let us add this manager SSN by using alter table command alter table department add foreign key manager SSN references employee of SSN we already created this employee table so we can add this foreign key constraint let's add this foreign key constraint in the department table alter table department add foreign key manager SSN references employee SSN table alter we created all the six tables employee department department locations works on project and dependent let us enter data here i am taking this data these tables are from book fundamentals of database management systems by elmasri and Navate. let us enter same data while checking the results for queries it would be easy let's enter data into department table first let us enter these two columns d name and d number because this manager ssn which is coming from the employee table ssn values till now we didn't enter any data into this employee table so let us omit these two columns enter data into these two columns in department table insert into department d name d number department name research department number 5 here we got error cannot insert null into department manager SSN because this is set as not null let us make it this manager SSN null then only we can omit this manager SSN column see here while creating this department table we added not null constraint to this manager SSN so we cannot leave this column blank let us make it null then we can leave this blank alter table department modify manager ssn add null here table alter now you can enter this data into department table without entering the manager ssn one row created this first row research and department number five i entered now we can enter these two rows also administration department number four headquarters department number one headquarters one three rows inserted into this department table but if you enter data like this it will take time so i have written all the insert statement in one script and we can load that script and then all these values will be inserted into database i written all these insert statements into one file employee db.sql within this we have all these insert statements insert into employee and we have this many rows after entering the employee table data now we have the ssn value so we can update the department table by adding this manager ssn like that for department locations project and dependent see here within this works on table hours is set as not null if you want to enter null value into this hours column then we can make this column as null we can do that by using this alter statement alter table works on modify hours and its state type number 3 comma 1 null if you set like this then you can enter null value into this table okay let us load this script i have placed that script in c drive so at the rate c drive in the file name employee db dot sql see here all those insert statements executed so all those data inserted and we used two alter statements there one is for making odds to null and another one is we set the manager ssn first to null so after entering the manager ssn value we can set that again to not null these two alter statements also executed with this we have created all these tables and we completed entering data into these tables we enter same data into our tables it will be useful when we execute the queries and we can compare that results with the book while we creating tables we did not add this on delete on update cascade if you want you can just add these two classes while creating the tables and we can even give the constraint names for the constraints 
we just only given this primary key of SSN for this constraint we can specify constraint name by using constraint this is the user defined constraint name EMP primary key and for this foreign key constraint EMP super foreign key and here we can add this on delete set null on update cascade if you use this when you delete parent record all child rows will be set to null when you update the parent table value same value will be updated within all the child rows like that you can even add this on delete on update classes for department table and other tables also in next class we will see data query language dql we have already covered ddl data definition language commands dml in next class let us see this dql